Welcome back to One Shell Behind. This is Nick. And Monica. And we are back with our multi-year journey through the album Vanuatu Proud by Nawarake. And we have made it to track four, Home, uh, by Nawarake featuring Stan Antas and Lady Rudy. Um, And yeah, I kind of lost it already. I already lost the... (laughs) No, you, 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 I think you nailed it, right? This is the fourth track on that album. The same album that you've been with throughout this journey. I know, I know. And I think at this point, I feel like I, we've had enough episodes where I should be able to say it. Well, people know who Lady Rudy is and Stan Antis was... Well, that's a big part. ...reference previously, but now yeah. he gets a few verses by himself, so... Yeah, we've got a whole episode now that we can talk about Stan because Stan's a big artist. And we've only kind of hinted at before, but he's featured heavily in this. He's covers the chorus with Lady Rudy, and he's got a big verse in the middle. And you can really just kind of listen to just his sheer talent. <laughs> Where he defines what home is to him, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is a really cool track. I do. I, I know we'll get into the details later, but just the idea of like identifying what a home means and how do you identify what a home means. I know we've had conversations like that before being in spots where we've moved pretty frequently. It's an interesting question. Everybody answers it differently. Even <clears throat> on the track, you see the various artists answer it differently, right? Mm-hmm. And I think you and I have a different definition. So, yeah, I mean, it's an interesting conversation to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before we get into that any more, tonight we are drinking some Kavava. 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 It's a new kind of kava. It's the kava remix. Uh, the kava vavau, uh, I believe, out of Tawa. Still my best guess. Still the stuff from Celica, and it is strong, and definitely highly recommended for those of you who could get it when you're in Tonga or somehow get access to an exported version of it. I feel like there's a hashtag in there with kava vavau. Yeah, kava vavau, kava vavau. Hashtag peak nawarake. Hashtag kava vavau, kava vavau. Some kind of like shorting of it. I realized when we started this series, the, the the bit about what kind of cover we were drinking was seemed like a really good idea, and now I've realized that it's pretty much the same cover. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's essentially the same cover every single time. Well, it's quality stuff, so we're not going to change it. Absolutely, and we do pretty much. But we will let you know if we do change it. We would, we would. We predominantly have access to Kava Tonga, and predominantly that's Kava Vavau. Um, as it is the most uh, plentiful um, that's being sold around, though it would be uh, maybe we can go on a search for some uh, kava tofua from the volcano in Hapai, or maybe kava ewa. That could be fun. Yeah, maybe maybe mix it up for the next episode. Have something Ooh. surprising. Just totally like 180, not even really a 180, maybe a 90 degree turn. <laughs> it's just so, something. To just that not sort. so far north. Yeah. Well, at least we have some interesting uh, wash them out. Fuck Ifo Ifo Chasers today. We've got some A&W root beer. And assorted American candies. We've got Twizzlers, mm. Skittles. Yeah, and, and don't forget sour the... Sour punch straws. The, the flavored pretzels. I Tell me more. They're bursting with flavor. I really can't remember the name. They're like pieces. They're the Snyder's brand. They're like those big the hard pretzels. Yeah, they're broken to pieces and covered with... They're amazing. Absolutely amazing. You recommend? Oh, highly re- highly recommend. It's a, it's a terrific snack. Absolutely. Um... But, anyways, why don't we jump into the song now, I think? Yeah, Anything that's else? Good. Yeah, all right. We're going to go have a shell of kava, and we will come back and jump into Home, the fourth track on Noir K's 2021 album, Vanuatu Proud. Let's do this. Shells up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And we're back with One Shell Behind. We are going to jump into the song Home, the fourth track on Vanuatu Proud. 
So let's go ahead. Here we go. Home is where your heart is. We're talking about home. Dedicated to all of you, friends and family. Feeling a little bit homesick. first chorus and verse uh really cool almost i don't know what you call it a cold opening with lady rudy it just kind of bursts on Absolutely. and then the music kind of kicks in with stan and nawarake kind of picking it up right at the beginning and then the primary chorus with lady rudy and stan's kind of harmonizing or they are harmonizing I'm working on my words tonight we know how to describe music it's very good kava <laughs> It's very good comment. It's really helping me articulate my words. Um, but yeah, yeah, really great with the chorus and, you know, both Lady Rudy and Stan's, like, uh, singing ability is absolutely amazing and very, uh, immediately kind of brings you in. And then, of course, Nora K's verse, the kind of core of that, the, the song's broken down into that chorus and verse with Nora K and then chorus and then it actually has Stan has the next verse, which we'd be going into followed by another chorus, and Nawarake is taking on the final verse. Yeah, and I like how Nawarake defines home, because, yeah, like, as an immigrant to Vanuatu, right, like, he had a whole few decades of lived experience before coming to Vanuatu, speaking about different time zones and different places he's grown, and the furthest reaches of friends and family now, whether that's Outer Islands, Vanuatu, or friends and family back in the U.S., he, he highlights it all, and I mean, yeah, it really encompasses how diverse the definition of home can be and how individualistic it is. Mm -hmm. Also kind of, I mean, just the the concept of home as part of identity, but also something that is dynamic and changing and not necessarily set. Mm Because I think often my perspective of home has always been a place very much a location. A geographical location. Yeah, or a house, really, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> quite literally a home. Though the the interesting consideration between, like, differentiation between the word house and home, but that's kind of how you consider it. And after, you know, moving around the world in different places in the U.S. And, and not necessarily, I wouldn't say transiently, we've lived in extended periods, like, you know, five years in Vanuatu, two years, over two years in D.C., another five years now in Tonga. There's... Like, what do you define as home? And I know you and I have talked about, like, you know, our hometowns home. Do they even, do they feel like home anymore? And it's not like being necessarily, to, well, not putting those, those areas down. I still love those areas. I'd love to go back. But if somebody asked me where my home was, I don't know exactly, if I necessarily know how to answer that, right? Because there is an assumption that Tonga isn't your home, but it's like our home now. Because, like, we don't live here there is kind of certain transients even after half a decade like that we won't live here forever but it's still like i would consider it it's our home now it's one of our many homes it kind of it builds creates it's part of my identity yeah no i think this is a really super timely song for us to cover because we just spoke about this a week or two weeks ago and I know we don't speak a lot about our background on our podcast, but we're looking at the end of a five-year posting in Tonga, right? So we always knew this was going to be a chapter in our lives. We didn't know how long we'd be here. 
and to be part of such a transient lifestyle. I mean, since I've known you through our friendship, our courtship, our marriage, we've had, we've lived in three very different geographical places. So it is very hard to pinpoint where our home is. <clears throat> and you can say home is where the heart is. And that's, I really do. I really do like that idea. I love that concept. And I love that people can identify with it. But then I honestly struggle to say that. Well, our, our union, our my heart is where our home is, because that's not actually true we like you said have a variety of homes that we get to collect and in a lot of ways we are super blessed because we do have pockets of community friends and family all around the world and it i don't know it's just been on my mind as we look down the last chapter of being in tonga um i was on tiktok earlier and i'm deep into the taylor swift fandoms right and so um, based on something she posted a few weeks ago, a it, it's akin to an Emily Dickinson letter written in 1856. And in this letter, Emily Dickinson is ranting to one of her really good friends about she's just moved homes and what a pain in the ass it was. And she talks about how she had to take stock of her senses and her belongings and her really good shoes. And she's really just ranting and raving about the weather and what a pain it, it was. Um, and she, in like the second to last paragraph, it says, they say home is where the heart is. I think it is where the house is and the adjacent buildings. Full stop. <laughs> <laughs> and it just speaks of a woman who has moved to a new place, doesn't really know anything, right? And she's like, I guess I live here now. This is where my family is. And I really, I really identify with those two sentences right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's an interesting concept and in like, I, I get the feel at home is where the heart is 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 kind of cliche but it also carries with it a lot of meaning and there's a reason that it is cliche that it's used so often that that's it's considered as a as a phrase that people understand immediately and are drawn towards and obviously it's it's a big part of this chorus i think it's also interesting too is they talk about you know it's at least mentioned and it's probably considering maybe even the target audience or at least one of the target audiences for the song is those who've been who were separated from their families, right, during the COVID epidemic with borders locked down in Vanuatu and most of the subregion um, of the Pacific Island nations um, having very strict border closures, mm -hmm. border restrictions, border controls. So these people being separated for a very long time. So you got Nawarake, who is you know quite literally just became a, a citizen of the country or got a passport and all, all that is official citizen the Vanuatu citizen song I think track two um, if I remember correctly maybe, maybe track one but um, you have that that focus and you have the focus that moves towards or includes those and it's mentioned in Inorke and I think the very first part of the chorus uh, all of those people who've been separated for so long they two plus years of living in different areas and you know how does this affect what you call home and is home always the place like there is a certain idea of or a concept certainly that you know home is where you are from and once you are there like you you hit the ground and you understand that there's like an, a visceral feeling and understanding that you know the ground you are on is the home you are from um not sure if i mean i guess there's probably something that i've felt like that probably you know going back to like where i was born and raised but i think i also feel that in ways that where i've just developed deep connections with others as well so that kind of like where home is you know the heart and the heart is family friends connections and and family is a much more dynamic all the intangible aspects more yeah, than yeah. geographical. yeah it's like a more it's a more dynamic idea or concept mm -hmm. than just what you know typically we think of as like the biological parents brothers sisters that's it kind of very at least in my culture right very restricted whereas the cultures i've been living with most often the past decade i think of it as a much more dynamic and much more expansive concept 
of these long connections across vast distances. The furthest friends and family, as yeah. they describe it. And shorten the distances in that way. The connections were so strong. And it's worth noting when the song came out, right? Like it was pre-independence, an event that triggers all the things that you define yourself for your national identity, right? So, yeah, I mean, the song does go out to the people who are not in Vanuatu, but still want to be a part of a celebration. Yeah, no. Yeah. Why don't we jump on into the second chorus and second verse, which brings us to Stan's uh, main verse in the track. Even when the hardest thing to do is leave. Home is where your heart is, even when it's far, so far away from me. Home is where your heart is, even though my heart hurts, help me to be. Sometimes it's a place to rest my head. I could not be a million miles away. My home is still who I am. Home is still who I am. Yet I miss the smell of the ocean breeze. Craving everything from the land up to the trees. Family and friend, them, even the birds and the beast. Full of life and culture. I know my history. second chorus and second verse with featuring Stan and of course Lady Rudy and Stan in the chorus um, just right off the bat Stan such an amazing vocalist like just love the I don't even know how to describe it I'm not, I'm not a musician of any kind so <laughs> the fact that I'm doing a podcast where I'm drinking coffee and analyze I don't know what do you even call analyzing I feel like we tried to describe this we probably should have kept trying to describe uh, the shallow episode. diving shallow dives shallow dives into 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 music that is Kava adjacent. <laughs> we need to keep describing what the show is, just so, just so they know. Um, you know, all of our avid listeners. Mm. Um, <laughs> so, just amazing vocalists. And actually, I was I was going to come back to the chorus too because we, we we really touched a lot on the home is where the heart is, but the the rest of the chorus is talking a lot about like even if my heart hurts and even if I'm not there that kind of disconnect mm -hmm. and again that like distance of a family that is far away or separated because of the the pandemic and the lockdowns and the travel restrictions and the inability to be close with those that you love um well and that's why it's really cool to see how these communities utilize social media because I feel like it's very popular in the U.S. to scoff about Facebook and how it's old and outdated and it's the devil. But at the same time, like this is how these families and communities are really maintaining their communication, right? WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, they're able to instantaneously communicate for very cheap, right? If they can get a data package. And I don't know, I feel like it'd be really interesting to see what communication was like, you know. 15, 20 years ago when you had to use landlines, right? And maybe people were moving often and you couldn't keep up with them, but it is a huge tool to help stay connected and to really, yeah, get back to the people that you want to get in contact with. Yeah, yeah, there's that connectivity aspect that is, you know, it's not new necessarily, but, you know, things have been rapidly improving and... Well, it's like the current tool that's being used. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it provides a level of connection that is is pretty, it's, it is amazing. Like, certainly not a not a personally huge fan of a lot of the social media channels. I think, honestly, most people wouldn't be, but it provides a, a functionality and is incredibly useful in its ability to connect people with instant messaging and video chats and just phone calls over data or Wi-Fi. Um, making everything just so much more accessible in, in, in many ways. Um, Certainly. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's pretty cool. And yeah, getting to Stan's verse, 
like he touches on a lot of the kind of home and culture and like the the land Mm -hmm. as part of um his identity and the kind of intermixing there of home home is more than just again more than a house it's more than that it certainly kind of ties in that geographical location but even beyond like a a place on a map it's it's the land and the culture that tie into making that your home so the idea that you can stay connected and be far away but there is there's this power to being back and being together that you can't that's not irreplaceable and i think that was you know considering like you know my perspective growing up right like that's not really you know within the way that we consider it like the land isn't really part of our culture cultural continuum of part of our identity right right like as the (laughs) eldest son you're not going to inherit your family's land unfortunately no no i was was like do we even own the land like (laughs) where's the land who actually owns the land what the bank owns the house what part of capitalism (laughs) has taken control of our lives that we have to then work through um yeah so i mean it's a completely different perspective but you know all the more you know powerful and interesting and and kind of you know perspective taking to listen to as he sings about what makes up his identity certainly and that's why it goes back to home being super individualistic right because like as long as we've known stan we've known that he's wants to build a house on malo right like that's end game because that's where the family land is even though he's based in port vila right now and i mean it makes sense that for his chorus or sorry for his verse he would speak about yeah the sea the land the birds the bees the history and the culture i mean that's that is how he defines it and it's, i think it was the birds and the beasts I beg your pardon. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I don't think he said the birds and the bees. I think he said beast. I swear he said beast. I, I don't. I don't care either way. <laughs> what I said stands, and full stop. Pass back to you. Fair, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I was. I just. I was because I was thinking of it too. I was like listening to the line, and I was like. I'm not sure how universal the, the the term birds and the bees are. It was. Um, it's as. But I'm pretty sure he said beast. It felt super, like, random and binary, and I just it didn't really feel fitting. Well, I think it was, like, yeah, about... talking about the land, and he's like, the, you know, the birds in the sky and the beasts on the land. Like, there's this kind of, like, Oh, that's you know, clever. Yeah. That's super clever. <laughs> that, that's, that's, what I, <laughs> that's what I'm pretty sure he was getting out there. I miss the smell of the ocean breeze Craving everything from the land up to the trees Family and friends I thought he was just talking about people. No, I think it's defining like the actual the land, right? Like that that core part of the identity that is the land, his land, the land the that he's from. Yeah, the land that's part of him. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So, um, anyways, you want to jump into the? I guess it's the final chorus and verse followed by a final chorus. Let's do it. Yeah. So this is uh, fi- chorus Nawarake, and then the final chorus and. We'll, be back. Thing to do is leave. Home is always on my mind. Home is where your heart is, even when it's far, so far away from me. When I'm feeling homesick. Home is where your heart is, even though my heart hurts. Help me to believe. Even though I'm not there, home is in my heart. Yes, it's a part of me. Yeah. I've been around the world, but there place like this never found another place like this that i would miss every step i take in the right direction feels like bliss coming home again oh yes oh yes oh yes oh yes home a home some leave it just to find it it resides inside our hearts we don't need to be reminded i don't need to worry or pretend when i go inside it i get so excited going home delighted yeah home is where your heart
damn Stan again with those vocals just, <laughs> just kills me every time. Uh, he's just he's such an amazing vocalist, uh, and all of his tracks are are amazing. Definitely, I highly recommend any all to all of our avid listeners to check out all of the the it's music a, by Stan. It's um, a brilliant discography. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think most of it or a lot of it is available on Spotify at this point. Um, and you can certainly find some of it on YouTube and find a scattering of music. But Spotify does have a pretty good collection. Um, might be on some of the other streaming services too, like Apple Music. But yeah, no, actually one of the things that first came to my mind is like we hit that second chorus and the work has started coming back. Or sorry, I guess it's the third chorus on this one where right after Stan's verse, no work, he starts coming back and then hits his verse. Um, but I'm wondering from you know his perspective as he's talking about he's being homesick and then he starts talking about he... Like, I think, you know, in the verse he's talking about Vanuatu, it seems, I don't know, I guess for some reason it seems obvious to me that he's talking about Vanuatu in it, but he doesn't say it, like, specifically. I think a lot of things can be true at once. Like, there's, yeah, that's true. Maybe that's the intention, like, or maybe I, maybe I missed something entirely, but maybe Art it's left... open to maybe if it's, Well, maybe if it's left vague intentionally. Certainly because it's it covering two different places, because, you know, he's, he's lived in Vanuatu for an extended period of time, but... He has, you know, he's from the U.S. and there's family and that live there. Well, and he's marketing to a wide audience, right? So it needs to be a bit applicable to everyone. Uh, certainly. I mean, I think, I mean, I don't know who the audience, the, the larger audience would be, but, um, or the target audience would be necessarily, but it's just like, there's this, like, I'm wondering what the perspective is. Like, he's, you know, in this case, you know, we know Noorke was in Vanuatu throughout that time in lockdown wasn't stuck away from Vanuatu so is it the I'm homesick for the the past home or is it it just could have just even to... been movement within domestic Vanuatu yeah even. yeah yeah uh, it's it's certainly an, an interesting kind of like again it's like the you know dual homes thing it's like even you know it's not just people who are coming from other countries like especially in in island nations right Vanuatu you mentioned Stan right like lives primarily in Port Vila, families from Malo, just I think it's like what southwest, southeast of Santo. Yes. Spiritu Santo. So, you know, you got this, you know, even that kind of like connection, right? And and you see that like as well where people are, are have these two separate homes and almost separate identities. I can kind of you know, I can definitely understand that, like different places where you are and have you you have this like different elements that make up your identity and the way that you act the way that you see the world Mm -hmm. your behaviors and characteristics dispositions all based around this where you are at that point in time and who they think you are and who they want you to be yeah yeah but no it's actually it's 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 a really good song it has a lot of depth to it 10 out of 10 top shells yeah (laughs) Are we adding that? Is that is that one of our is that one of our spots now? Are we are we ranking? I was gonna give every song ten out of ten. 10 out of ten coffee shells. shells. Okay, ten out of ten coffee shells. Uh, maybe every once in a while, ten out of ten coffee shells overall. I'm gonna give a, a Stan a twelve out of ten coffee shells for his vocals. Bold. It might just throw. A, I'm not sure if the total score has to be an average of any kind, but since we're just throwing it in now, I'm just like this is right off the dome. Just. <laughs> Like, we could start integrating uh, uh, some scores into the, the conversation. Um, but anyways, that was uh, Home, track four on Noora K's 2021 album, Vanuatu Proud. And we are going to go have a shell of Kava now, and we will be back with you shortly. Bye. Shells up. And we're back with One Shell Behind. So, uh, that was Nawara K's uh, Home, featuring Lady Rudy and Stan Antas uh, from the 2021 album, I Don't Want Too Proud. The, the song Home can actually be found on, on Spotify, on Apple Music, um, SoundCloud. It's, it's not actually officially up on YouTube, though somebody posted it. Mm. Somebody, is, somebody called CD Baby. How dare she? Post, posted How a, dare they? 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know we're going to assume CD Baby is a she, necessarily. But they, they posted up uh, you know, just, just the audio um, with the album cover as the background. Um, you could also, just as a, I think a reminder we haven't included in the last... We didn't include in the last album or episode was that... Uh, Fauna Want You Proud is on TikTok. It is available as sounds on That's TikTok. Exactly right. um, which was, was intentional from the beginning. Um, you can also get the whole album. You can download the whole album on No Work, his Facebook page. There is a link there for access to the album for download. You can get the MP3 files for that one. Uh, so, yeah, with, with that said, any final thoughts on home? No, this was a fun episode. Like I said, it was timely for us where we are in our life right now. And just seeing the different definitions and how heartwarming it all is it was it was fun mhm yeah absolutely and it was it was nice to kind of dig into it cuz i think you know previously when i've listened to it i haven't i probably listened to it a little bit more passively and this kind of more active listening and listening like really listening to the lyrics and the the conversation that's being had in the song i thought was really interesting um like considering home from different perspectives. Yeah, no, absolutely. I thought it was a really, you know, fun song to dive into and as shallowly as we shallow that's not even an easy word. We gotta we gotta work on that. Shallowly. Shallowly. <laughs> shallowly is a difficult word. Uh shallowly. Shallowly. Um anyways, it was it was it was good to dive into it and talk a little bit more about the concept of home. I thought it was a an interesting way to do that. And even more, I guess, on on brand, on brand, timely for us. The next song uh, is uh, track five of the album is Visit Vanuatu. Cool. Um, and since we have uh, <laughs> flights from 2020 that are still on hold um, until we can possibly get a flight sometime um, essentially in the next year to uh, finally make our trip to Vanuatu uh, a few years later than, than planned, um, our return trip, Really looking forward to that, and really looking forward to the next track on the album, Visit Vanuatu, which, honestly, I was like, I, you know, considered in passive listening, kind of like, you know, a, a tourism prose song, like, come and see the beautiful sights of Vanuatu. But oh, yeah, I, it's an anthem, for sure. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of wondering, though, now, maybe if I was listening a little more actively, or as we do listen more actively, if we're going to see some underlying messages that we didn't consider Certainly. in the kind of passive listening when we when we first listened to the album and listened to that song in particular. I guess you the origins of the issues that have been stated in previous yeah. songs. Yeah. Stay tuned to find out. How yeah. exciting. Yeah. Um, not sure <laughs> when all of these episodes will be posted, but we we're we're back on a regular track of uh, weekly recordings, um, not necessarily weekly postings. Or really advertising this podcast at all, but maybe we'll just have this passive group of listeners come in that just gets bigger and bigger, and yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly right. That's exactly exactly what we're aiming for. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. With, with that said, we'll be with you next time. Uh, drink lots of kava, and we'll see you then. Yeah, listen to the war. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Get me the wrong. Fresh up. I, I, I.